Today, we must stand united. United in our communities, united in our values, and united in our determination not to let triumph those who would seek to divide us. So, for the rest of this election campaign, we must be out there demonstrating what they would take away. Our freedom, our democracy, and our support for one another. Democracy will prevail. We must defend our democratic process, win our arguments by discussion and debate, and stand united against those who would seek to take our rights away or who would divide us. Last week, I said the Labour Party was about bringing our country together. Today, I do not want to make a narrow party political point because all of us now need to stand together. Stand together in memory of those who so tragically lost their lives in Manchester this week and the pain their families are suffering and will continue to suffer. Stand together in absolute solidarity with the city of Manchester. And stand together for democracy. Because when we talk about British values, including tolerance and mutual support, democracy is at the very heart of them. Terrorists and their atrocious acts of cruelty and depravity will never divide us and will never prevail. <laughs> Do not doubt my determination to take whatever action is necessary to keep our country safe and to protect our people on our streets, in our towns, at our cities and at our borders. <laughs> Protecting this country requires us to be both strong against terrorism and strong against the causes of terrorism. The blame is with the terrorists, but if we are to protect our people, we must be honest about what threatens our security. Those causes certainly cannot be reduced to foreign policy decisions alone. Over the last 15 years or so, a subculture of often suicidal violence has developed amongst a tiny minority of mainly young men falsely drawing authority from Islamic beliefs and often nurtured in a prison system in urgent need of resources and reform. <laughs> and no rationale based on the actions of any government can remotely excuse or even adequately explain outrages like this week's massacre. We must be brave enough to admit that the war on terror is not working. We need a smarter way to reduce the threat from countries that nurture terrorists and generate terrorism. 